Yes, everybody, welcome, welcome. This is Dave Podcast. Glad you joined me. This is a happy, 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 well, it's a happy day for everybody out there who's listening and watching, and you don't have to watch. Uh, I'll give you guys, I'll give you people out there options. Uh, I'm not going to sound really fast. i got to give people options, and uh, I'm going to sound very calmly, and I'm going to not rationalize it. I'm not some uh, trigger person. Um, I don't like to get triggered. I don't know, you people would like to get triggered. The word I use sometimes, and I see these police videos a lot, people get triggered by cameras. Uh, so I'm, I just want to let you guys know that if you guys going to get triggered by my voice or or something that effect, uh, I'm going to put some videos out there, photos, and my voice will be normal voice as much as I can. But you guys will wonder this, wonder this. This will be a podcast of all podcasts around the world. We're going to talk about everything to do in this world. Uh, do the weather Groceries, people go get money to money to uh, the paranormal, uh, maybe to what uh, uh, poltergeist people perceive it as. Um, these are the what you call the unknown in poltergeist situations. Uh, it's like investigation. It's like it's not like a police investigation. It's a poltergeist investigation. Uh, if there's any hauntings going on to the location, to a rundown place, to a house, to a <laughs> to you name it, it's uh, it's sometimes uh, people don't realize what a really haunted is uh, to, to a poltergeist to a paranormal uh, situation. Um, but let me let me let me reassure you, people. I'm just sound like a politician right now. Let me reassure you, people, that polit uh, that paranormal and the poltergeist are similar, the same. Uh, these are ghostly sightings. These are ghostly sightings. People who don't have bodies, and they're ghostly sightings. Um, uh, but they're dead, and they want to be risen again. Uh, but it's like that. It's a ghostly figure that walks by. Uh, it's kind of scary in a way. That's why these people on YouTube film them. And there's no green screen. It's not computer generated. It's not to do with the camera. It has to do with, uh, uh, if your eyes can see it, film it kind of thing. You know, if you see a ghostly figure, just film it. Because your eyes will tell you if it is if it's real or fake. If this is fake, I don't want to film. If it's real, I want to film it and film it really good. Uh, so that's why that's why you see a lot of paranormal videos and poetry guys videos there. Sometimes they're creepy, sometimes they're not. They're um, they're kind of like uh, run the mill poetry guys videos and um, and. Um, they have a lot of devices when they go to uh, paranormal investigations to Portuguese investigations. They're all different. They're all different. And uh, the devices they would use. Now, here, uh, if you're doing an interview about a Portuguese uh, uh, person who does Portuguese for a little bit, and a, like a paranormal investigation, it's like, it's like a police investigation. Same, similar thing, but in different ways. Um, a Portuguese is kind of like you're looking for ghostly figures to ghostly sounds. Um, things that the human ear, like, uh, for instance, I'll give you an example, I'll give you an example, if people like example, like, uh, uh, elaborate, they always say the word elaborate, well, I'm going to elaborate right now, um, it's like, it's, it's like you, if you hear a sound that you didn't hear before, uh, it's like, it's like that, it's like if you hear background noise, and you didn't hear it before, it's sort of like that, uh, creaking noise, maybe a house is kind of run down, and uh, it's sort of like that. So it has to do with many factors. They would say many factors uh, going in. But when you're going to a haunted location, this is a haunted houses. These are haunted houses, haunted buildings. They're run down. They have graffiti. They don't want you to go there. Um, and that's essentially what a poltergeist location is like. And it's a haunted uh, house. And it's, it's just uh, what YouTube videos shown as... Uh, houses that are run down, no one lives there anymore it's, uh, since a long time ago. Uh, they vacated the place, and they kind of, uh, it kind of, when you go there, it's not like a place you want to live, essentially. It's the total opposite of what you are living now. It will be the total opposite. It will be run down, with graffiti all over the place, inside and out. Um, and it, it's just, it's just dangerous. It's just very much dangerous. People always tell you that in videos. Uh, it's dangerous to go there. Um, you have to be th a really, really, really an expert at this because uh, the floors might be not so good. It's all run down. You, you'll get what I'm, I'm describing you what these places look like so you can get there. 
Um, so it's like run down. It has graffiti inside and out of the place. And it's kind of run down and then boarded up, centrally boarded up. It's like from the 1800s, this place. Uh, and it's very creepy. People, when they uh, arrive to these places, they're very creepy in nature. I kid you not. Uh, it gives you this, it gives you the spookiness. And uh, the spookiness can be a little scary at times. But if you're, if you're familiar about the par uh, paranormal world to the Portuguese world and the haunted locations, then you have no fear about it. Uh, so um, uh, there's TV stations out there. When they go to these paranormal investigators, sometimes they'll go in teams. They call it the team thing. Um, they'll investigate what they hear, what they see. They'll get the special kind of cameras. They'll get night vision cameras. They'll get uh, they'll get uh, a BVP going on. Uh, so these are disembodied voices in the in the afterlife, and they're trying to get what they hear, what they hear. These are disembodied voices, so they call it EVP. Uh, you can look that up on, on, on the definition of what EVP stands for. It's like a voice something paranormal thing. Uh, and uh, if you watch TV shows, I'll give you shows you can go. Uh, give you, I'll give you a recommendation what kind of shows that might might be a lot easier for you to understand what a Portuguese or a paranormal show looks like. Uh, I'll give you an example, like um, a couple of British shows, kind of like uh, there's one... When I first saw all these shows, there, there's a show called Most Haunted. This is a British show. It's not the United States or a Canada show. Uh, that was the first uh, glimpse of what a haunted show looks like. It's not from the movies. Uh, it's not from the, uh, you know, the movies from the early 80s. It's not like anything like that. Uh, it's just for like TV, uh, t TV shows only. But it's, people think it's entertainment. People think it's real. Uh, it, it, it's a very, it's a balance there. So, um, so it's, bear this in mind. So, anybody were to go to a haunted location, bear, uh, just really, really, just remember, these are places that people don't want you to go to. Because it can be dangerous, it could be uh, hazardous, they always say hazardous. Uh, unless you know, unless you know the area very well. So, bear that in mind. So if you want to go hunt to locations, uh, I'll give you an example. There's a TV show I used to watch called uh, 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 Ghost. Uh, well, uh, Ghost Adventures guys, Zach Goodberg, um, who does uh, who hosts that show. He he goes in with a team. Uh, he call there's there's no I in team. There's team as in him and some other two guys with him, and they do a paranormal investigator. The whole entire house they do they do what they do they start off by what the story of the location is is that uh they give you uh eyewitness counts of uh if they see a ghost or not and these entities so-called entities can we just say that for for the record entities these are entities so-called entities and i want to i want to talk real loud and raise my voice just raise my voice uh and to be a little louder and uh I just want to say to you guys, it's wonderful being who I am. Just be who you are and be loving what you do. What, loving what you do. You are great. Uh, I want to do some spiritual, uh, I want to do some spirit communication. I want to do some spirit communication beyond the grave. I want to speak to the loved ones who are dead or undead. Uh, these, are, these are from beyond the grave, beyond, the, beyond our comprehensions. Uh, if you're not with us, you're not at us. So there you go, folks. We're out of here. Thank you very much. Peace, y'all. I'm loving this. Yay! Anyway, anyway, Donald Trump, don't forget Donald Trump, this, uh, Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, and don't forget, don't forget, Joe Biden, everybody. Yay! Anyway, see you guys later. Ciao.